Hey everybody, so iOS home screen customization is taking off right now and I couldn't be happier. For years we've been staring at variations of the same screens, save for maybe a little bit of app icon organization, right? But now it seems like the introduction of widgets in the newly released iOS 14 finally have people taking ownership over their screens and getting creative. Hashtag iOS 14 home screen is trending on Twitter right now and all sorts of creativity and personalization is happening under this now slightly less restricted home screen on iOS. 14. Not just with widgets though, but also with icon replacements. Yeah, that's right, like in the good old days. People are finding clever ways to express themselves and create their own unique computing environments on the devices they carry in their pockets every day. As a visual designer who's pretty much made it my career to design that sort of stuff, that is music to my ears. I've spent the past few days tinkering with my own home screen setup and I got a lot of questions about it, so I figured I'd make a small video just going through my own preliminary setup, talking a bit about why I organize things the way I do and showing off some widgets and a couple of tricks. Now, it might give you some ideas as you set out to create your own home screens. If that's your jam, then watch on. This is what the first screen on my phone looks like right now. It's very minimal. Uh, there's a few components to it that I'll break down for you. Uh, I'm using a pure black background because it looks gorgeous on my OLED screen and uh, it makes it all about the content. Uh, it also lets me do a few tricks with widgets that has pure black backgrounds, uh, making them appear floating uh, in the background, uh, which you'll see across these different screens here. And uh, I'm not a single home screen kind of guy so I've got multiple screens here that I'll, I'll take you through and that's actually because I kind of like to segment uh, each of my use cases into different screens and there's a couple of general rules that sort of are common for these screens uh, except the first one is actually kind of different uh, but that's because the first screen is the most important screen on my phone every app that's on here fought really hard to be here when I open up this first screen on my phone, it needs to give me the information I need right now, and it needs to give me access to the apps that I use multiple times a day. Let's take it from the top. I got two widgets up here, uh, a calendar widget, which shows me all my plans for tomorrow, uh, and my things widget, uh, which is my to-do widget, uh, showing me everything that I've got planned for today. It's Sunday today, uh, so I got nothing planned. Um, then I've got a, a bunch of apps down here and you'll notice that I'm sort of using the uh, staircase uh, design. Um, the way that you actually do that is just uh, you, you, you cheat uh, by um, creating little um, you know, empty uh, app icon containers. And I'll leave a link down in the description of how to do that. But generally, it's just a, a, a website with a black fav icon um, that you didn't add to your home screen. Um, that actually allows you to create some pretty interesting things. Why a staircase, you might ask? Well, that's actually because the area down here is the most reachable area when you're holding your phone one-handed. So I generally try to design most of the actionable stuff, also on the, the other pages that I'll show you, uh, down here. Everything that I have to touch and reach has to be sort of in this general area, right? I don't think I'm gonna make you guys suffer through a whole walkthrough of every app on my phone in this video. So if you have any questions for a specific app that you see in one of these screens, just leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them. But here on the main screen, I've got the stuff that I use most of the time, right? My Twitter app, uh, my uh, Slack and Trello for work, uh, my camera, my photos, my calendar, my notes. Those are my most important things that I use every day. And if an app at some point isn't used every day, I'll probably remove it from this main screen. It needs to be clean, it needs to be efficient. Some people might have noticed that I've got a couple of weird app icons down here. I'm actually just using shortcuts uh, to create custom app icons. It is a little cumbersome to set up and it does add a few seconds to that interaction of opening the app because when you open it, it has to go to the shortcuts app first and then it launches the real app, right? But that's the price you pay if you wanna have custom app icons. That's also why I don't do custom app icons for all of the apps on my phone yet. But hiding down here underneath these custom icons is actually just your usual suspects of mail, safari, and messages. So that's the first screen on my phone. It's very minimalistic. It just has all the information that I need right now when I open my phone. Let's move on. Next screen is actually sort of an extension of that first screen. Um, it deals with uh, everything that's going on today and that's time sensitive. What I mean by that is that it's the content that I'd like to read on that given day. So up top, I'm using the weather line widget for the hourly forecast for the day. Uh, gives you a good glance of what the weather is going to be like uh, for the next couple of hours. Moving on down, you've probably noticed this huge headline right here that says today. Now, this is actually sort of a general thing that I'm trying out with 
each of the screen except for the first one. Sort of trying to contextualize that screen and make it more glanceable. This is the today screen. These are the things that I'd like to know about today, right? Got my old social networks to keep up with my friends. Good old Apollo, the best Reddit reader app on the planet. Uh, and then I've got my local Danish news right here. The bottom of the today screen, I've got a smart stack consisting of a couple of widgets showing things like top articles from subreddits that I like, uh, local subreddits, uh, local news, uh, which is powered by Newsify, which is wrangling a bunch of RSS feeds in the background, daily top articles from tech subreddits, um, from communities that I'm into, uh, and you know, just a bunch of different things, a mix of inspirational things, uh, daily news, and uh, things from the communities that I'm interested in. I feel like this today screen, the second screen, is like a natural extension of my first screen. My first screen has like all that immediate information I need to, to start my day, my calendar, my to-do list, all the apps that I use uh, on a daily basis. And then when I'm ready for it, I swipe over and I've got the today screen, which is a more in-depth look at my day. It's got my forecast, I've got my apps, um, which has content that needs to be read today or that content disappears or is buried. And it's got aggregated information from the various places that I'm interested in all related to that one day. So that's the today screen. One last thing I want to say about this screen is that uh, this little headline is made with Widgetsmith. Widgetsmith is by far one of the best widget apps out of the gate here at the iOS 14 launch. And uh, it enables you to do all sorts of layout stuff. And this is simply just writing some text in a widget and using an emoji. Um, I really like that I'm using it here to help me give this sort of contextual relevance. And you'll see it um, throughout all these screens. I use it to sort of give each screen a headline. Moving on, this next screen is the fun screen, or entertainment, I guess. The general idea behind this screen is to have all the entertainment that I usually use all in one place. Starting from the top, I've got a constellation widget from Widgetsmith, which doesn't really have anything to do with entertainment. Uh, I might replace that once better entertainment widgets come out. So it's a bit of a placeholder, but it kind of fits in. And sometimes just those little visual affordances when you're swiping between screens as a meaningless constellation screen helps you identify that screen. Um, I kind of like it. It has the fun headline from Widgetsmith. It also has a smart stack out here, which will definitely grow grow deeper over time. Right now it has podcasts, definitely waiting for an overcast widget. Um, little things like what my kids are watching right now uh, on the Apple TV. Um, I'm also trying to set up game tracked right now to track the video games that I'm playing. Down here I got my audio and video entertainment uh, along with uh, Pinterest that I use for mood boards and visual inspiration and uh, Messenger which doesn't really fit in here but I haven't found a better place for it uh, for those uh, few friends who just keep wanting to use Messenger instead of using just messages. We all have them, right? Another general principle at play here is to keep widgets that I don't really need to interact with up top because they're very far away to reach and app icons for the apps that are related to that screen down at the bottom because they're easier to reach. So let's move on. Um, I got my setup screen or my tech screen, which has a moon face because it looks cool. You know, why not? Um, probably be replaced with something else at some point. Uh, got my screen time, um, my Widgetsmith headline of setup. Again, just using an emoji and tending the color. Uh, my batteries overview. Down here at the bottom, I've got a few apps that I frequently use to set up or change or enhance my phone. Uh, got my watch, my one password. Got Lightroom and Halide for tinkering with photos. Now, in the future, I might do a separate photos screen uh, with more of that stuff. Um, but for now, they're living here on the very tech setup screen. Also, please don't look at my screen time. It, it's that's embarrassing. Moving on to the health screen, I've got my fitness widget up top, um, which you know basically just gives me everything that I got on my watch, uh, just right there uh, in this screen here. Uh, but it also gives me quick access to my activities and all that. The Widgetsmith headline and a smart stack over here. Uh, the first one is uh, just a step counter from Widgetsmith. Also has cardio butt for uh, those uh, heart related metrics. Actually, I think there's, yeah, there's another one up here. Um, just showing, you know, my heart rate uh, 
throughout the day. Uh, and uh, I got Ascend, uh, which is a, a neat little app that's uh, currently in beta, I think, uh, with floors climbed. Uh, and uh, I've got Sleep Plus Plus, mostly just because Auto Sleep hasn't made their widget yet, and I'm just waiting for that uh, because I use uh, Auto Sleep a lot. Um, and uh, here you can see that I'm definitely not getting enough sleep, uh, probably because I spent so long looking at my home screen, or maybe because I have two small kids. Down here, I'm using Habitify. I actually worked on an app icon for Habitify once, and right now I'm using it to track some daily core exercises. Right down here, very close to my thumb, I've got the four only app icons on this screen. You have to remember that you actually have access to these other apps by just tapping the widget. So technically, when you have a widget, you don't need an app icon. I break this rule a couple of times. The last screen I want to show you is the money screen, uh, which is not really done yet. Um, but generally my idea would be to have all the financial apps and information that I need right here. If you're thinking about what those last two dots are, I am working on a couple of other screens that aren't really ready to be shown yet, uh, mostly because the widgets aren't really there yet. Uh, one idea I had was a screen for all the information from my home, uh, all the HomeKit enabled stuff, and another screen for things like shopping and food and stuff like that. But that's what I've got so far, and that's been my general approach. These very uh, segmented screens designed around these different use cases, uh, with the first screen being really minimalistic and just everything I need right now, diving deeper into my my day and then designing each of these screens around these different use cases and where I might use my phone uh, in different ways. This is still obviously very early days and our access to good customizable widgets are in short supply. I'll, I'll probably continue to tweak this setup as I live off this and more widgets come out and other good ideas bubble to the surface. But let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.